Haven't done one of these in a while. It's the live pizza taste test for the live stream. Because I'm weird and I just like to film myself on Monday nights eating pizza in front of 85 people. Actually, how are we doing everybody? Before we start the video tonight, there's just a few things I gotta get off my chest. I've done a lot of thinking today, I've been doing a lot of thinking recently, and uh, yeah, the past few weeks guys, I've been putting out a lot of videos that are different, let's put it that way. Um, I've been doing my best to speak from the heart, and convey my emotions and everything and sometimes it's worked in my favor and sometimes it hasn't worked in my favor. But like I've said, I've been doing a lot of reflection on myself and I realized today that I haven't been uh, conveying the most positive message to you guys, to my viewers, to my subscribers. And for that, I just want to apologize. I want to say sorry to everybody in the comment section especially that I have offended. I've been negative to, I've you know, I've just discounted advice that's been meaningful, that I've uh, assumed hasn't been meaningful. Uh, guys, I mean, at the end of the day, I have I just get so much, uh, I won't call it trolling, I just get blatant hate from people. And I, it's it's really discouraging for me to be able to, uh, to post a video, especially like the ones that I've been posting recently where I put my heart out there. I tell you guys how I'm feeling in that moment. Um, I'm being real and uh, I don't get the response that I necessarily am looking for. And I think it's human nature, everybody. I think we all, you know, whether it be in person, whether it be on Facebook or some sort of social media outlet, uh, if somebody tells us something we don't want to hear, we get defensive. And that's the way I usually get. I get defensive and uh, I say the first thing that comes to mind sometimes. And that doesn't always work out the greatest for me. I've always said there's a fine line between constructive criticism and just blatant hate. And a lot of people cross that line. For me, that's why I, I like to have fun with a lot of people. And that fun can sometimes be negative. And for that, again, I apologize to everybody. And uh, I'm not going to ramble on too much because there is a video and I do want to get to it. But that's my whole point with all of this is that I do want to apologize to anybody that's offered genuine heartfelt advice out there for me and uh, just taking time out of their day to do that. So. I just, again, I'm sorry. It's one thing to apologize everybody, but I have to reshape the way I talk and the way I interact with all of you. And that's what I'm honestly gonna be working on from now on, is just taking time to uh, let opinions sit and either responding to them or not responding. Or when I do respond, just making sure that it's positive and with the best intentions. I just had to look at myself and also the way my other friends on YouTube interact with their viewers and they do not interact with their viewers like I do. And so, again, that's what I need to change. Now, let's get to the video. Alrighty everybody, it is a new week. It is Monday, the 7th of November, and everybody, it's uh, it's been a different week. A great weekend overall, I had a really good time. Uh, I don't know why, I just felt way better. Uh, I have no idea why. I think the uh, time change and daylight savings had a lot to do with it, but uh, regardless, I have something big coming up next week, everybody. I've been training for it, looking forward to it for the entire year, um, and it's something that's gonna require me to travel, and I wanna do the best I can do with it. So this week's gonna be a big week for me. This is gonna be essentially the peak week before, you know, if you guys wanna think about bodybuilding. You do all this prep work the week before in order to do the best during the contest, and that's the same thing that we're doing here. So I got a bunch of stuff going on. I got a lot school work I gotta get done before next week because I'm gonna be gone I'm gonna have to miss class blah 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 got a lot of stuff going on in my head I'm gonna take you guys through the day and through the week I 
I know guys, I really need to get an apple slicer. Exciting, exciting, and more exciting. Good thing I love chocolate though. I gotta say guys, there's just something about cream of rice that just makes it way more delicious than oatmeal. Don't forget to eat your carbs. Alrighty guys, so I absolutely killed it. Had such an awesome session. Uh, bench PR as well and squats. Moved up 10 pounds in both my squat, or actually just my squat, and five pounds on my bench. And that's the, the key to all this is, uh, you know, I developed my starting point and that was about two weeks ago. And so now, uh, just continuously adding weight every week to each lift. Now with my squats, I do three by five and uh, with bench I do a 5x5 five five. and that's the biggest thing guys is I'm noticing such um, my my doms is crazy right now on my chest and my shoulders just from doing a 5x5 five five. I've never done out of all the years I've been lifting I've been lifting about six to seven years now I know it's hard to believe but yeah just doing and committing to an actual 5x5 five five program like Texas Method is absolutely just it's so different but um, yeah usually I'm just used to working up to a top set at three reps or five reps and keeping it there and then pyramiding back down but five by five for bench right now is working for me so I'm gonna keep it there I uh, finished off this one with some dips and some pec flies and just various accessory work with it which I didn't film so uh, that's pretty much it everybody stay tuned for the next part of the video Alrighty guys, so I just got back from the day. I had an awesome gym session, but I'm super tired. Uh, I have to get to some homework, but I did just get back from the store, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Alrighty guys, so first things first, um, I've already told you guys these are amazing and you should get these, and yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna take out the stuff that doesn't really pertain to what we get at the grocery store, but yeah. Paper towels and that are essential just gonna say right now uh, what else did I get that has nothing to do with food uh, I don't know right now but yeah so guys this quick and almond nut thins amazing go and get them seriously uh, rice cakes usual there I decided I needed to get more onions because I've just been going through onions like crazy lately uh, so those Apples, pears, the usual stuff. Oh, hey, I never eat Brussels sprouts either, so. Faye, Greek yogurt. Amazing. Another amazing thing, which I'll be having in a little bit. Die 7 up. I do sugar ketchup. All had this before, guys, but. Oh, yeah, shaving cream, you can't eat that. <laughs> um, poverty, generic, without having to buy normal checks. It's so funny that this is like, seriously, I think this is like two bucks for um, 20 ounces doing that. 12 ounces. So the checks is like 10 ounces and it's like four, four or five bucks a box. It's ridiculous. So tastes exactly the same. Go get it. Oh yeah, and pro tip guys, if you haven't tried it yet, uh, where is it? My cinnamon. Do this. Guarantee you're gonna, you're gonna love me for this. Get cinnamon and put it over the top of your, well, if you buy it, normal checks, but do that, it'll taste literally like cinnamon toast crunch. Thank you later. These also, amazing. Try them out if you haven't already. On sale, I believe these are like two bucks. This is just the, um, and they're steam pools. So I can just throw those in the pan from bird's eye. Really good, probably be doing that tonight. Um, what else did I get? Some chopped onions, because I need more onions to go with my onions. Romaine. And some good old barbecue sauce. It's gonna be amazing. Last but not least, some extract that I can put in my oatmeal. Pretty boring tonight, guys, but it is what it is. Stay tuned for the next part of the video.
are doing live stream say hello to the live stream everybody we got who do we got in the chat we're at Nia we have Hanan Justin haven't done one of these in a while it's the live pizza taste test for the live stream because I'm weird and I just like to film myself on Monday nights eating pizza in front of 85 people pizza gossip Woo. All right, everybody, I'm done with the live stream. Just finished up with some homework. I'm great again. Story of my life. About to watch some Walking Dead and finish off the night with some cereal. Cheers, guys. Before I forget to mention it again, guys, seriously, put some cinnamon on top. It's the best thing ever. <sighs> because I'm just that much of a badass, I gotta drink my protein shakes straight out of the blender. Alrighty guys, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch the video, which I'm sitting down to edit right now. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, everybody, I just want to apologize to everybody that's taken offense to anything I've said, uh, but I just felt like I needed to get that off my chest and tell you guys uh, that I really do love all of you, and I appreciate everything that you guys do and uh, all the support you've provided for me. I've just, you know, I've learned to deal with everybody the same way, and that's just kind of always the way I've dealt with everybody. And it's just kind of always the way I've done things, but uh, that's not the right way to do things. So I need to change everything, change this the way I uh, interpret every comment, and sometimes just not even respond at all. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up for me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for the upcoming shenanigans that are gonna be happening very, very soon. I like doing vlogs. I like showing you guys day-to-day -day stuff. That's what this is. It's a day out of my life that uh, took time to film for everybody. So let me know what you guys wanna see next. As always, guys, feel free to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh